So I was on a coaching call the other day helping someone dial in some really good tones on their brand new HX Stomp XL. And as we were dialing in some of the parameters and settings and going through the menus, we noticed that some of the menus were different from my HX Stomp to his HX Stomp XL. Wow, that's a lot of letters. This video might be difficult as I'm talking about both. HX Stomp XL. We'll get through this. Anyway, since I thought the HX Stomp XL was more of a, just an expanded HX Stomp, I thought the menus would be similar, but they're a lot different than I had expected. And some of you know I've been working on a project to help people out with their Helix gear, and I thought, man, if these menus are this different, then maybe I should get an HX Stomp XL. And so I did. There it is. In all of its glory, the HX Stomp. XL. So, today's video is meant to serve a few purposes. First and foremost, the Expanse Pack that I sell is now available for the HX Stomp XL. And if you've purchased the Expanse Pack before that's meant for the HX Stomp and you have the XL and just been adapting it because you can do that, uh, you get to upgrade for free. More on that in just a second. Number two, to remind you, in case you've been hiding under a rock somewhere, I am doing a huge giveaway right now. This Friday, I'm giving away this pedal board. There are several videos out letting you know how this thing sounds. It's fully powered with the um, True Tone One Spot CS6. It's on a Pedal Train Nano Plus. These four pedals are amazing. I'm giving it away this Friday. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and definitely hit that bell and set your notifications at least for this weekend so you don't miss out when I go live to give this thing away. You're not gonna wanna miss it. And also at the end of the video, I was just gonna go ahead and let you know that I'm gonna be playing through some of the sounds that the HX Stomp XL can make through the Expanse Pack. So back to number one, how to get the Expanse Pack if you are an XLer. Exceller? Can, I, can we say that? HX Stomp Exceller? How to get that? I just sent out an email not long ago, except I haven't done it yet because this will be in the future, but I will have had sent out an email explaining everything you need to know to do to upgrade for free to get your HX Stomp Expanse Pack XL. What I'm doing now over on my Squarespace website is they're actually purchasing a member area. And this is the easiest way I found to like get you guys your updates for free as quickly as possible, as soon as possible, as much as possible. You can go in anytime, download it once a day for all I care because once you're in the member area, is the files are sitting there. And then when I do updates, which I do around once a month, I don't have like a schedule, but around once a month, I'll put something new in there, which I'm, I'm due pretty soon. But I've been so busy just trying to get this stuff over that I haven't done that yet. But anyways, I got some new stuff coming. So what you're doing is you're actually purchasing the member area for the Stomp XL instead of just the Stomp. There's, there's still both. And you actually have access to both of them if you've already purchased the other one, but I still need you to get access to the new one. So anyways, all the instructions are in the email I sent you. Now, if you didn't get the email, then check your junk or your spam or your promotions folder and go ahead and drag that email over to your inbox so you don't miss out on any other future updates because they'll be coming out a bunch in the future. Now, if you still didn't get the email, that's okay. Just email me at jimmy at heyworshipleader.com. I'll look you up, make sure you're a part of the Expanse Pack family and I'll get you everything you need to know so that you can get your update. And now if you're like, Jimmy, this is the first video of yours I've ever clicked on. I have no idea what you're talking about when you refer to the Expanse Pack. Well, let me just tell you, it's just an ever growing collection of presets that I add to all the time. Like I said, you pay once, you get updates for free for life. So if you want more details about that, check out the link below. You can go look at it. And like I said, if you want to know what it sounds like, I'm going to play some sound samples at the end of this video. So stick around. All right. So what I did is I just updated the presets to fit the HX Stomp XL because we have different switches. So now you can see here on the screen, the old HX Stomp has three switches and now we have five extra switches on the HX Stomp XL. And if you're new to either of these units, I want to just go ahead and show you just some quick differences or basically some things that you can now do with the XL that you couldn't do with the Stomp in case you're trying to make a decision on which one of these you want to purchase. And I just want to show you some different ways that I would be running the HX Stomp XL if I were using it. I've used it a couple times just so you guys know. Uh, we had some like writing, songwriting sessions and I just needed to pull something out quick and I didn't want to pull out this pedal board. I didn't want to pull this thing out um, just because, well, I just wanted to try the XL, but the XL was also, it also fits in my guitar case. It's, it's kind of snug. I wrap it in a shirt, it fits in my guitar case, so I don't have to take anything else, which is kind of convenient. And the power supply fits in there too. I wrap it up and that's all I need. So that's 
pretty convenient. Just another win for the HX Stomp altogether. They're both very small units. Um, but this is my pedal board. I love this pedal board. Uh, I run MIDI and do all the bunch of stuff. I got tons of videos on this thing, but I've used the XL a few times just because, like I said, it was super easy to take with me. And so let me show you a couple different ways of how I used it. As you can see, I got the same preset pulled up. They're different numbers, but this is the Hay Worship Leader Humbucker H Grammatico Bright preset. And uh, on here, I have three different switches that you can uh, access in stomp mode. And I also have three different snapshots set up that toggle on and off different things and mess with some parameters. If you wanna stay in stomp mode and bring up different snapshots, you'll need another device like a MIDI controller or something else to help bring up those snapshots. I suggest the Jet Micro or the Jet MCX to get started. Also the Little Robbie, uh, Little Robbie Pedals Pilot. Um, I have a couple videos on this channel about all those. Check the playlist, make sure you subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff. There's a lot of videos on here you can watch if you haven't seen them. But the cool thing about the HA Stomp XL is that we don't really need any external pedals because we can reach everything. So what I've done here is we have the same thing. We're in stomp mode. You can do the same three effects on and off. I actually added another switch that toggles on and up and down the mix and decay on a reverb here. Uh, that you could not access over here. And what's cool is we have these two other switches here that we can bank up and down. I'm saying bank up, we can go preset up and down. You can also do bank and you can also do snapshot. So how I would use this first and foremost is I would probably go to snapshot mode and have preset up and down. So let's toggle this. We are now in preset mode. If we hold this, we are now in snapshot mode. So you can, you can see the four different snapshots here. We have clean, tremolo, ambient lead and a pitch shift. That's what we have in this particular patch. And then we can scroll up and down other presets. So right there is the litigator. You can see we have cleanish, bucket brigade, probably some swells and a lead tone. Go to the match stick, we have cleanish, less clean, dirty, more dirty. Each of these are, are just different ways I've set them up. Clean, crunch, swells, synth. That was a cool preset. Did a video about that. Crunch, high gain, ambient, coarse, ambient. Just a bunch of different things that you can do. What's cool is you can just stay in snapshot mode and toggle presets, which is just so convenient. Like that's amazing, really. Cause this, the one problem we're trying to solve with this regular size HX stomp is getting all this other gear to get to other presets or be able to toggle between different snapshots. So the fact that you can do all this so quickly is just amazing. So that's the, that's the probably the first way that I would do it. I would set up different parts of songs like verse one, chorus, bridge, big lead tone, and then go from song to song. Another way I might would run this if I didn't plan ahead enough is I would pick something like my worship template. I have two different worship templates in here. Well, let's just go to one of them. Where are they? Somewhere in here is a worship template. A lot of presets in the expanse pack. Okay, worship template, worship template two. Let's go to the one. We have clean, wet drive, chorus lead, and then everything on. Um, different sounds and so what I like to do is use the worship template and plug in my BPMs but let's just say uh, now we have the tap tempo on here so I don't even have to plan ahead I can just go to my worship template tap in my BPM and I'm good to go so I could either bring up my snapshots or I can hit this mode button twice <laughs> and go to stomp mode and just hit on and off different effects on the fly because sometimes I haven't planned ahead or I'm filling in last minute and I don't have time to plug in everything I like being in stomp mode and so I can be in stomp mode and copy and paste the worship template if I want to and then go to different songs using the preset up and down. Another thing I like to do is that I just stay in the worship template and don't leave. I can use it for all of my songs and so really I don't need this to be preset up and down and so then I can just go to foot switch mode and just stay in my worship template as if it's a full pedal board. I never need to leave that preset because I have my tap tuner right here. So how we do that is we push the hamburger menu, go over to global settings and in the preferences, no, in the foot switches next to preferences, the middle here, it says stomp mode. Right now I'm in four switch, but we can toggle this over to six switch. And now uh, we've exited the ability to preset up and down, but it gave us another foot switch to assign to different things. So I have a high and low shelf, which that's just a little trick I learned from, um, what's his name, Cordy. Jonathan Cordy to kind of give it more of a realistic amp tone. So this boost the low end, you can toggle that on and off based on like, man, it sounds thin. Well then toggle it. Oh, it's too bassy. Take it off. And then you could always just bend down and turn the knob if you wanted to, to get to another preset. And so you can see some of these presets I have, um, let's see the mod. I was trying to see if there was one that had like six things. Oh yeah, we got the pads presets in here. 
but these are good. All right, so here's one, the Hay Worship Leader divided by 13. So what I did is I put what I thought were the most important foot switches on these four in case you go to the four stomp mode. Um, and then these, you got the compressor here and then the EQ you can turn on and off. Let's go back, put it in four switch mode and talk about one other option. You could go to preset mode where you can see four presets at a time and then put this over here instead of toggling up and down presets. Uh, you can hold these two here and it'll change it to snapshot mode. It'll actually scroll through bank mode, preset mode, and snapshot mode. So you can select the, the preset you wanna do. Say you got these four presets, maybe it's four songs, like song one, song two, song three, song four. Mm -hmm. And then you can scroll through the, the snapshots of each of those songs, which I think that's also a pretty good way. The thing is you got so much flexibility with this thing. It's, it's, it's amazing. I want to say real quick, I have some thoughts about a previous video that I did about the HX Stomp XL when it came out. It was called, Who Is This For? A lot of you have seen it. And I had some thoughts in there that I have new thoughts about. Some, some of the things I still agree with, I'm going to address that in just a second. But there's a problem in the XL that a way that I would want to use it, but I can't seem to find a way to fix it. So I'm gonna tell you guys, and if you can figure it out, let me know down in the comments, but I've read the manual and I can't seem to figure it out. I just showed you this last way that you can do presets and I don't think I would ever really wanna be in preset mode. I might wanna be in stomp mode or, well, it's not there now. I would wanna be in snapshot mode. I wanna to toggle between snapshot mode and stomp mode, but every time I exit snapshot mode hitting this button like i can scroll through them here with this this two button click over here but i just want to be able to go from mode like i want to hit stomp mode and then be back into snapshot mode but it always takes me back to preset mode and i don't want to have to do the the two foot switch because that's that's too hard maybe i'm being petty but i just want to change it to where it goes from it see it already ready goes back to preset mode no i want to go from stomp mode to snap mode stomp mode to snap mode because that's the two things i would want to do all the time and then i would want to leave these on preset mode always my side i want on preset mode and i want to toggle between not presets because i got presets over here right i got presets over here i want to go from stomp to snaps stomp to snaps that's what i want okay talked about that too much but that's what i want to do and i can't change it can't change it now like i said in that other video it's great that they gave us what they gave us we used to have only three snapshots in the regular hx stomp and now we have four snapshots but we can go to stomp mode completely and have six different stomps if we can do that why couldn't they have given us at least six snapshots they've only given us four but they could have given us six and snapshots are where it's at like i love using snapshots why couldn't they give us six snapshots it's kind of like the snapshot thing like even the, the thing i was saying over here like you gotta click these two buttons just to enter snapshot mode and you can't stay there if you click out of it then you got to go click those two buttons again to get back in it and so i want to use snapshots the most i want to toggle between snapshots and stomp mode i want to be able to pull up six snapshots if i can and i don't think it would be that difficult but I'm also coming from this from not an engineer. I've never made uh, pedals before, so I know nothing. So take that into account. But I just, as a user, I want to be able to use six snapshots. I want, I want more snapshots. And it seems like they, we have enough switches to pull up six, so give us six. I also mentioned that video how they really, I feel like they missed an opportunity to just give us more DSP. But since then, I've kind of learned how I think the DSP works. It's actually like a chip. And so for them to just put in an extra chip would make this thing as powerful as the Helix. And they already have the Helix and if we had the power of the helix in this we'd be like oh but now we need more switches and they'd be like hey yeah we already made that device it's called the helix and we already gave you two of those we have the floor and the lt and so we would we would never we would never be content you know it we would never be content but third thing as i'm recording this fractal audio has just announced that they're releasing the fm9 which seems to be about the same size as the stomp xl with one more switch this has that, five, three, that has eight switches and they're gonna have nine um, and it's gonna have like way more DSP because you can run multiple amps at the same time but it's also like more than double the price and so anyways there's tons of options out there let me know down in the comments which unit you're drawn to uh, HX Stomp alone HX Stomp XL or something else like the Fractal Audio how many of you are at, gonna get on the wait list to get the FM9 I'd like to know. all right anyways I've been talking long enough let's plug it up and hear some good sounds
we can access our tuner, which is really cool.
Alright, hopefully that gives you enough sound samples. Hopefully this video will give you just like a taste of what's the difference between the Stomp and the Stomp XL. They're both great devices. Let me know down in the comments which one you would get. Also, if you're Expanse Pack member and you want to upgrade or just get the, the one that actually fits the XL, uh, check your email, like I said, and follow the directions. If you, if you can't, if you can't figure it out, email me. I'll try to be quick to respond to you guys to help you out. If you're interested in the Expanse Pack and you've never done it, click the link below. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah, also, giveaway don't forget this Friday I think I'm going live if I can figure it out it's been like a while and every time I'm like wait how do I go live again I can never remember and now I got two cameras and so I got more to think about I was gonna try to have a top-down shot of the pedal board maybe play through it while I give it away um, but I don't know if I can figure all that out so we'll see if nothing else I'll just go live and give it away because that's probably what y'all care about the most anyways and remember there's a second place winner so hang around for that it's gonna get the uh, masa moon the extra one that I got so yeah I think that's about it so I'll see you guys Friday bye